Bamako Resistance Notes October 4, 2022. Ethnic Regions. In a large battle yesterday in Palor Township of Korthule Bay Tavoy District Tananthari Region on Burmese maps Karan Army and PDF forces bombed a junta convoy on its way from Palor toward Mayak. Junta reinforcements then came to the aid of the stricken convoy, and they too were targeted. The joint Karen forces fired all afternoon, and at the end, at least 20 junta troops were killed and 10 wounded, the troops also killed three of their civilian human shields. The Karen captured a number of weapons from the enemy dead. In Kothule Duplayer District Mayawadi Township on Burmese maps Karen Cobra Battalion snipers picked off three junta troops yesterday. In Kyansegi Township a drone bombing PDF allied to the Karen Army bombed a police checkpoint at a bridge, killing two troops and wounding a junta officer, corporal, and two other troops. About 70 junta troops have moved back into the ruins of their lost camp at Jait in Kortri Township Korkarek on Burmese maps. Karen forces captured the camp on September 20, capturing two junta soldiers and killing seven and confiscating weapons. The Karen forces then burned the camp and left. The new junta troops looted villages and mugged civilians on their way in, firing mortars and guns and destroying a clinic and some houses. In Arakan State, junta troops invaded a refugee camp at Yanong in Butherdown Township and forced the refugees out at gunpoint, ordering them back to their villages, which are in a battle zone. Some of the villages no longer exist due to junta burning. Troops have cut off transport routes, preventing the refugees from getting food, while military families buy up most of the food. In Mourne State, a local PDF in Yi Township exchanged fire with junta troops yesterday at Kauzar for 25 minutes, three junta troops including an officer and two PDF fighters were killed. Junta Army Internal Divisions. Troops are disgruntled because their officers are pocketing all the profits from illegal gambling dens and timber extraction, as well as cash extorted from local businesses and the ransoms from civilian hostages taken and not sharing the money with the soldiers. Instead, local commanders pass on payments to their superiors only. This is reported from Ma Rupin Township in Irrawaddy region. The soldiers regard this as unfair corruption, and it is leading to tension within the battalions. Junta Scorched Earth Village Terrorism Campaign Troops burned Zorhound village of Kantbalu Township, Zagaring region today, beating residents and taking hostages. 7,500 residents of this and three nearby villages are now refugees. Troops are firing mortars into Ailikan, Thindor, and Lingyi villages. In Monowa Township, troops destroyed Monowa Jemen village yesterday, kidnapping a large number of hostages, including whole families, who were sheltering in a Buddhist monastery. This happened after a PDF bombed a convoy on a nearby road, it is long-standing Burma army policy to retaliate against civilians. People's Defense Forces PDFs in Zagaring region, 200 fighters from four PDFs from Salingyi, Pali, Yesigyo, and Myaing townships attacked a junta police barracks at Kayadit in Salingyi township on October 2, capturing three out of five bunkers on the site before being driven off by two helicopters that arrived to relieve the failing outpost. The helicopters also turned the guns on the civilian village, forcing residents to flee. Of the 60 troops and police stationed there, at least five were killed, but the casualty total isn't known. Two PDF fighters were also killed and several wounded. Normally the police there are supposed to patrol the township, but have been confined to their bunkers by the PDFs. Yesterday PDFs along the banks of the Chindwan River in Kani Township fired on junta supply boats, killing 14 troops and wounding five on board. Videos show a boat billowing smoke after being hit. Today 14 junta military boats are patrolling the river and firing into the riverside villages, causing 20,000 people to flee. Land-based troops invaded North and East Aintown villages. In Kinu Township, PDF's monitoring junta troops building a concrete defense bunker at a road and railway bridge dropped fragmentation bombs from drones, killing eight of the troops. In Salingyi Township yesterday a PDF killed four junta police as they were shopping in Nyampingyi village. Troops then arrived and started shooting into 11 area villages, forcing residents of all of them to grab a few belongings and run. 
In Mandalay region, after a PDF in Kyauks Township ambushed a Junta Electric Company official and three armed police escorts on their way to deposit cash receipts at a bank yesterday, two police in plain clothes in Sankai Township then pretended to also deposit Electric Company receipts at a bank in order to attract PDFs so they could be caught. The trap backfired, however, when the PDF shot and killed the police major and deputy chief and then left. Civil Disobedience Movement CDM. Two Junta soldiers who worked at a weapons factory in Magwe region were declared dead by the Junta after they disappeared in November. In fact they were captured alive by a PDF. They are publicly advising all other Junta troops to leave the military and join the CDM, and say they are kept much better as prisoners of war than they were as soldiers for the Junta. The Junta has detained many of its own staff after the leak of the September 26 memo forbidding the inclusion of military casualty figures in internal reports due to consistent leaks of that information to the press and public. Employees dealing with reporting and data have been locked up and their mobile phones seized as the Junta tries to identify who leaked the memo. The news of this internal purge was also leaked to the press by internal sources, so the leaks continue. The National Unity Government raised $9 million by selling plots of land that were illegally seized by the military some years ago. The land is in Parthiangyi Township of Mandalay, and the $9 million is from 40% down payments on the land, put up for sale at $24 million total price, which is still below the market price. This follows a similar land sale from a military base in Yangon, and the auction of dictator Min Ong Hying's Yangon house which raised $10 million. ASEAN has not invited the Burma dictator to its 41st summit meetings in Cambodia in November, even though the host, Cambodia, has a similar military regime that is friendly toward Burma's illegal military junta. The non-invitation is due to pressure from the democratically governed ASEAN members, especially Malaysia, after the Burma regime rejected ASEAN's very watered-down conditions for reducing mass violence. ASEAN will accept only a non-political representative from Burma, meaning that it is still not ready to validate the national unity government made up of duly elected politicians.